Hi everyone, it's Marianne, the Penguin Girl, and from the voting that you guys did of your favorite artworks, um, there were two that tied in the first place, and today I'm going to do a deep dive into one of them, and it is this one. So this here is a very romantic setting, um, and in case you haven't already guessed it, it is a love story. So let's take a closer look at this artwork. So this illustration is called Summer Night in Bansko and um, it is a love story. So these two penguins here that are holding flippers, um, wings or holding hands, um, they are in a relationship and they are together. So as I shared in the earlier deep dive video, um, the penguins are all gender neutral because they are meant to symbolize every single one of us. So they have no nationality, no ethnicity and no age. Um, but if you see a purple and a blue one together like this, holding hands, or if they're sitting really close like this, or if they are um, maybe on a first date over here, um, they, <laughs> they are meant to represent a couple. And in this relationship, they are both of any gender. So it doesn't mean that one is female and one is male. Um, they could be any gender. Yep. So the color, I feel, you know, it really helps to add some variety to the scene as well. Otherwise, they will all be just blue penguins. So there's a whole long story as to how this idea of the purple and the blue penguin representing a couple came about, which I will talk about some other time. So stay tuned for that next time. Um, so what's interesting about this scene is that um, it is, there's a mountain in the background because Bansko is the ski resort of Bulgaria. So that's where people go to, you know, do winter sports in Bulgaria. Bansko is the place to go. So it's it's quite touristy in the way it has been set up because a lot of the survival of this town depends a lot on the tourist industry in the winter time. But I was here in the summer, so that's why there's no snow. Um, and it's, you know, it's a very different scene, I think, if it were covered in snow. Um, so a few things to point out here is that there's this little river here. Um, well, it looks like a drain, really. <laughs> it's really more like a drain, but it is a river that, um, uh, at this point, it's uh, a narrow channel, but eventually it widens out into a much wider channel, which I will show some photos of later. Um, and there are two little kittens up here. So I'm going to also share the story behind why these two kittens are in this illustration. Once again, this is a love story and inspired by a week that I spent in Bansko with my then boyfriend. So we're not together anymore ever since January this year. And it's kind of a long story. Um, but we parted on good terms. So we're still friends. Um, and I'm okay. But back then, during that week in August of 2019... Uh, why this week is significant for me is because it offered me a glimpse into what life on the road could be like with a partner. So during that week, we stayed in a really nice hotel apartment um, in a very quiet neighborhood, which I'm sure during tourist season, it's not quiet, but during off-peak season, it's very quiet. And there were amazing, amazing, amazing views of the mountains from the apartment. So Bansko is Bulgaria's winter resort, so in the summertime it's very nice and quiet. Um, there's not many people there, but there's still enough people that you don't feel like it's a ghost town. So here's the photo that became the inspiration for this scene that I have illustrated. Now, if you, you, know, if you see, I took this photo in the daytime, and in the daytime it can get really hot, especially in the afternoons. Um, and you know, when it's hot outside, it's not exactly the best time to go strolling around hand in hand with your, you know, romantic partner. So I like to paint night scenes because I feel like in the nighttime things are way more magical. So I grew up on Enid Blyton books, and in the nighttime that's when magical things happen, like the toys come to life, or the fairies come out to play, um, or the children, you know, might sneak out of the house to go on some secret mission, and then they meet like other magical creatures along the way, or something like that. So um, I have this fascination with the nighttime, and always wondering, you know, what kind of adventures could happen once the world is asleep. So I like illustrating night scenes because it kind of represents that part of me. And at the same time, also, nighttime is very romantic. 
So, you know, I may not have visited this exact spot in the photo in the evening, but with my imagination and with the power of um, paint and ink and color pencils, I can recreate whatever I dream about and whatever I desire through my illustrations. So this week in Bansko, it represented a really perfect week together with my then partner. Um, in the daytime, usually when it's hot outside, we would stay in and we would do some work and then we would go out for walks in the evening and at night. And also, why it was really special is because we sort of had a little pet. So I didn't grow up with any furry pets because my mom has sinus issues. Um, but I always dreamed of having a dog or a cat. And in our hotel apartment, it's a bit of a long story, but someone had brought these stray kittens there and left them there. And so every day these kittens would just hang around outside the entrance because they know that hotel guests would kind of like feed them and take care of them. So one such kitten is this cute little black one that I absolutely fell in love with. And sometimes we would take her into our apartment to feed her and to play with her. Uh, but, you know, sadly, neither of us were able to adopt her and take her with us. So we named her Black Kitty. So she's a black kitten, so she's called Black Kitty. Okay, because we are so original at naming things. Um, <laughs> and whenever we brought Black Kitty outside or if we go and play with her outside, she's always hanging around this cute orange kitten. So there will be like maybe five or seven of these kittens. Yeah, I, they, the numbers grow as the day went by, as the days went by. Uh, but Black Kitty, she's always with this cute little orange kitten and it's like they are BFFs, even though the orange one doesn't like to come into the building with us. So that's why I've illustrated these two kittens in this illustration. Because, you know, we grew very, very fond of them. Um, sadly, after I left, um, you know, my, my ex-boyfriend, he stayed there for three more weeks. Um, and sadly, you know, after he left, there was some news that the kittens had caught some disease and some of them had died. So to this day, we don't know if Black Kitty and Fanta, we named the orange one Fanta, made it. Uh, we don't know if they made it, but in case that they didn't, this illustration is also to remember them as a significant part of what made this time in Bansko really special for me and for my then partner. Yeah. So that's the story behind Summer Night in Bansko. Um, it's really a magical scene um, telling a love story, an ideal love story, which I experienced while I was there during that one week. So even though this relationship didn't work out in the long run, this one week that we shared together in Bansko is still holds a very special place for me in my heart. So one thing I learned about, you know, in this journey of living your dreams is that sometimes, you know, you don't know where this road is going and you don't know how things are going to turn out because, you know, at that point in time when I was together with my partner, we thought that we were going to be together pretty much like for the rest of our lives. Um, but, you know, things change along the way, you know, we change along the way and our priorities change along the way as well. But still, it doesn't discount, you know, the times that we've shared together and even the experience of, you know, having that ideal, um, you know, the ideal way of being together with our partner while overseas and living that ideal life that we had dreamed of together, even just for that one week. Um, to me, it's still counted as, you know, my dream came true. So one thing I learned about dreams is that, you know, just because it came true doesn't mean that it's always going to be there forever. And that's why it's really important to really be fully present and to enjoy each moment as it is there and to be present in it and not be wishing for something different or, you know, thinking that it's always going to be like this in the future. Yeah, to just enjoy every single moment and... Um, every single aspect of the journey, even when it's difficult and even when it's good times, even when it's unsure, and to just keep going on it no matter what happens.